Hello and welcome to this edition of your AFN Honduras Daily News Update. I'm Army Sergeant Chad Guthrie. Many soldiers at Soto Cano have packed their bags and moved to the field. Army Sergeant Rob Frazier has more on how this exercise is impacting the long-term plan for Team Bravo. Our 4 Commander Lieutenant Colonel Keith Pritchard and his team are spending the week in Siguatepeque. The field training exercise allows them to analyze and evaluate their mission essential task list, which outline the roles they would play in a deployed environment. The transition to the field is the first of many new missions Team Bravo will be embracing this year to increase the base's effectiveness of becoming a joint expeditionary force in Central America. For AFN Honduras, I'm Army Sergeant Rob Frazier. Unscheduled power outages are affecting offices at Soto Cano. J&J &J is troubleshooting this issue. They are aware of the outages and are working to identify the problem. J&J &J suggests you unplug any non-essential power outlets and make sure all government electronics are plugged into a surge protector or up system. Continue to listen to the Power Lizard and follow the public affairs news on Outlook for updates. The Public Affairs Office has posted the most recent photos of the Soto Cano Fire Department's training exercise, Sintan Smoke on the Share Drive. To find these photos, along with pictures of other various events, follow the directions in the Public Affairs Daily News update. That's it for this edition of your AFN Honduras Daily News update. For more news on Soto Cano, visit the official Team Bravo homepage at jtfb.southcom.mil and listen to 106.5 The Power Lizard. For AFN Honduras, I'm Army Sergeant Chad Guthrie.